Hi everyone, welcome back to my 30 days SQL challenge series. Today is the day 3 and today we have interview questions for American Express on SQL. So the question is that we have employee tables. We need to find out highest salaries difference between two departments. So we have marketing department and engineering department. So we need to find the difference between both the department highest salaries and output the absolute difference in the salaries. So let's see how we can solve this. So let's see the table first. So we have the employee name, then we have the department and we have the salary. So what we need to do is basically for each department, we need to find out the max salary and then we need to find the difference between these two departments salary and uh, we need to find absolute value. So let's go ahead and uh, see how we can solve this problem. So we can simply find select. We can use a case statement here case when department equals marketing then we want salary and s m salary so this will return marketing department salary and we want one more case when department equals engineering then we want salary and as e salary from salaries so let's see the outcome now oops we forgot a comma here so we have basically the salary of you know the the both the department now what we need to find we need to find the max salary so this is the marketing department all the salary and this is the engineering department all the salary so we need to find a max salary of this marketing department so we'll be using max functions here and then we'll be using same max functions for the engineering department as well so this will return the maximum salary for the engineering department so now we can see we can simply see that so you can see that maximum salary for marketing department is 53,000 and for the engineering is this one. So now we need to find the difference between these two salary. So we can simply use a uh, subtract functions and uh, then we can see the difference. So we can see the difference which is 49,000. So we need an absolute value. So for that we can simply use a uh, f functions and this column name we can just give salary difference so if we just run this query now we can see the difference between these two departments is 49,000 so second problem we have which is Microsoft SQL interview questions so that is also from easy category so let's see the question first so we have a question which is to write a query to identify top two power users who sent highest number of messages in teams in August 2022 display the ID of these users along with the total number of messages they have sent output the result in descending order based on the count of the messages so let's see no two users have sent the same number of messages in August 2022 so this is just assumptions so we can see the table so the table we have which is message ID sender ID receiver ID content sent date so this is the basic example table so we will go ahead and solve this problem we can simply use a group by functions to you know solve this problem so let's go ahead and see what we need so first we need the sender id and then we need the count basically how many messages they have sent so i'll be using a count as total count of total messages count from the table name is message then we can use a where conditions because it has asked to filter the data for August 2022 and we have seen we have seen the data is available for multiple basically date trends so we can use this date uh, you know filter here where the date column name is send date we can use a between operator here between 
and we can use the date between 2022 08 which is the month 0801 and 2022 0801 so that's how we have filtered the data for august only now we can use a group by group by one and we can use a order by so basically we're grouping by the sender id and we'll be doing order by which is two the total count in descending orders so we can go ahead and we can go down, go ahead and see the output oops let me just check line six there must be a mistake that we have done okay let's go ahead and check that there was a mistake in the table name so we have corrected it now okay let's check one more time we have center id count just total count from s's and we have used send date between okay we have done a group by by sender id so i'll be using sender id and order it by descending let me just go ahead and check it there must be some mistake oops so we need to select the date as 31st so let's see what we have done here so we have selected the sender id and we have selected the total count so basically count of the you know total message sent which is using count one functions we have given it alias here and we have selected the from table and then we have selected a filter uh, between to basically select all the you know messages of august 2022 and then we have used group by sender id which is one means the sender id and then we have used order by two descending so basically order by this counting descending order as per the questions now if you just run this should solve the problem so now we can see that we have uh, you know like the sender id and the total message counts now we need only top two it has asked for the top two so we can go ahead and use a limit function here limit two so this is how we will be getting top two you know the sender who have sent them their maximum number of messages the number of messages they have sent and their sender id so you can just submit it and we will be seeing the results congratulations so this has been successfully done